now in, in YYCHR, go to this little icon here, which is load emulator state. Click on that. And there should be a .zst file located near your ROM somewhere. Um, that, was, that is a save state file. Open that up and you'll get, you'll see uh, a distinct color change immediately probably. Um, this whole, these various options of color palettes are the correct uh, color palettes that came from the save state. Uh, scroll through until you find the one that works well for the specific sprites or objects or whatever on your tile set that you're looking at. And I will choose this one because it works well for you know your standard Koopa sprites. Um, and I will be editing these little guys, the shellless Koopas. Um, and I will change them into something relevant to a hack that me and some friends are working on. Um, I'll be making it into the little dog that you may recognize from uh, the game Mario Paint in the uh, music composing feature of the game. And uh, he's one of the little instruments that the little instruments that can be used. And it's, he's also uh, seen again in the program Mary Paint Composer for the computer, which works very similarly. So I will, I think I'm going to make him walking, editing these two sprites here. And so I will do that right now. Come down to the color palettes here. You'll see two rows, two main rows up here of colors and then there's this whole region below. These two rows are where you can use to edit your whatever's on your screen with. And just stick with one and use it the whole time. Don't switch between as you're editing because you'll mess up the colors and the palettes. Uh, there's nothing you need to know really except that the one all the way on the left, the little box here that says zero, 0, that is that represents transparency, the transparency color. So since that is black, um, it's hard to tell whatever truly is black, you know, where that is. So let's make that something distinct like light green. Now we see what really is black. Uh, but yes, let's, let's erase this guy. Let's make that quick. I'll drag a, there we go. Yeah, there's various, op various options on the right here these various buttons that do many things that are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I already know what this dog looks like, so I'll just start making him immediately. I practiced a few times for this tutorial. <laughs> Bear with me as I make this guy. Mess that up. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, don't switch to the other row and start using that. It, it'll it'll mess things up. Things won't be saved in the correct colors once you and it'll look strange when you insert it into the ROM. Why is that looking strange? There we go. And luckily there's a white here already. If, you, if there's a color that you want that is not on your row, just click on one of the boxes and then click again on somewhere in the region, the big region below. It'll make it that color. There we go. He looks good to me. Since I'm going to make him appear to walk, I'll make him just like this Koopa was originally. This sprite here is a uh, pixel shorter than its previous. 
I'll do the same with the, the dog I made. It'll make him sort of appear to walk at least. Again, I practiced before, so I'm kind of just kind of going to run through it sort of quickly. All right, now I'll move his legs outwards, make it sort of look like he's in motion. That's what it works, I guess. There we go. I like how that looks. So let's say you're done. You're you're satisfied with your with your custom graphics here, which I think I am. I'll well I'll change this background color back to black just in case. But you'll go to since we're making this an exgfx file, we want to save as to make it a separate file. Go to your ex graphics folder. And call the file capital E lowercase x, and then capitals G F X, and then a number from starting from 80 or anywhere upwards of that. Since I have no other EXGFX files in my folder already, I will start at 80. There's a reason for this. It's kind of hard to explain in words, at least for me, but I'll show you sort of what the reason is uh, once I get back to Lunar Magic. But these numbers are hexadecimal numbers so they increase in that in that fashion if you're knowledgeable in hexadecimal but I'll save that 